Okay, here's for part two because I realized that I I haven't said much about the computer if you're not familiar with it uh, because I wasn't. I spent my week um, uh, learning about uh, CPC and some other as well uh, that I will be um, showing uh, soon. A ZX81 from Sinclair, never on on one not know what it's about so yeah basically here you have a z80 cpu so that's comparable uh, sorry that's comparable to a what you have in um, in mega drive uh, master system etc you see that's your rom rom sorry uh, underneath that's a the gate array so these these two are um, custom chip so this you don't want this to fail this one is the uh, 4007 4007 and here there is a footprint for the 4010 um, basically so if your gatorade dies you can just um, find one of the two and you can populate this area uh, instead this is the uh, uh, the the clock area uh, that's an that's used as a, that's used as an inverter. This one, I think that's an end uh, and 74 series end gate. Um, that's what the, uh, this one was faulty in. Um, Forex's last video. That's that was his issue. Uh, so CPU, RAM, gate array, and the clock signal, AY sound chip. I guess these are your um, bank of memory, 64k of memory. This is for the addressing. I I would assume. This would be your video memory. That's your CRT um, CRT chip, and that's an AO, IO, sorry, IO. Uh, so for peripherals. So yeah, it's pretty much. Uh, that's pretty much the board for you. It's pretty uh, pretty simple. And so the plan is to. On this one, I don't even remember. Yeah. Um, I have I have something coming that I bought for the ZX81, um, but I can use for this one as well, and that's an next uh, like an ODE, uh, optical drive emulator for the for all computer, so it's going to emulate uh, a cassette. So yeah, on this one there is obviously. There is a cassette deck. Cassette, sorry, cassette deck. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I show it in reverse because, yeah, I don't want to to turn it um, over. It's going to put some gunk everywhere. So, yeah, on this one, ideally, I want to fix the cassette player, assuming that it's not working. But I guess it, it it's not working as it is. Uh, but yeah, basically that's a small uh, small device when you can uh, that works with an Arduino. You can put an SD card, and it's basically going to send some sound. Basically, you, you can plug a, a speaker and and hear it load. Uh, the the same way you you would be hearing the cassette loading uh, from the speaker on this uh, on this computer. So that that would be the same sound. So. That's basically uh, sending data in, um, into into the gate array, I, I guess, uh, directly. So yeah, on this one, I'm going to add a uh, 3.5 millimeter jack. And so even with an iPad, you can go on iPad, uh, just output the sound, plug it on on your on your phone, and it's going to emulate a cassette play, uh, a cassette tape, so you can play games uh, like that. So even if the 
even if the cassette player is not working so it, there is always a way so that's pretty safe actually to buy one of these as long as the custom chip or 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 not dead sorry um yeah uh, the z80 that's coming i oof, i went a little bit uh how to say um, overboard yeah i bought the ram extension so the tzx duino so that's the device i was just talking about uh, maybe other stuff as well i spent quite a lot so yeah that's for a nice change of pace i'm i'm watching a lot of uh, a channel of people repairing old computer and honestly uh, i wanted to give it a try it's quite quite tempting and i'm actually quite disappointed that this is working so yeah i would have loved to do a, a repair on these they are quite sim simplistic simple so yeah um i think they are great to learn how to repair so yeah that's so yeah this i'm going probably going to to change it as well because why not uh, this by the way is not a uh, it looks like that but it's not like the an eight pin din that's uh yeah i can probably find a replacement if i wanted to so yeah i'm going to to keep uh cleaning and that's pretty much it uh, we'll see you next time for the cassette deck and uh yeah i won't bore you with the keyboard because that's a yeah basically that's cleaning an entire keyboard stripping it up etc so that will be extremely boring so yeah see you